So, who likes Amazon Prime? Finally, well, actually, there are some exciting things in here, but, okay, let's just check it out. Yeah. Okay, open it up. And the unboxing. Um, lotion. Who else uses Burt's Bees lotion? Seriously, it's amazing. Fragrance free because for me, all the fragrances and everything are just, I don't know, a bit much. Then we have, okay, first of all, you know how they require you to have like an add-on item and then you have to have $25 to spend? Well, now they require you to have $25 of, hang on, hang on, hang on. $25 of Amazon Prime or like Amazon products because I had something else I had to buy but I have an Amazon gift card right now so I was able to get these dun da 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 oh my word aren't they so beautiful they're so pretty so, they're just cubic zirconia, guys. I did not spend, like, $400 on them. Okay. And then, pillowcases. There's two of them. But I really like this. I think the green. So far, I only have pink. And then, the one you guys have seen over here. This one. That one's just, uh, it's, it's kind of too small for my pillow. But I use it in emergency cases. But I don't really have many pillowcases like at all so finally since I have this gift card how do they feel oh they feel like my other pillowcases which is amazing it's like you guys it's this one right here microfiber I'm telling you the microfiber are amazing I have the sh I have a set of sheets with the pillowcase and everything pink of course and they're microfiber and I've had them for over two years and they're still really soft so I definitely recommend microfiber and I got my other ones from I don't know I don't think it was the same brand but I got those from Amazon as well so super excited I think I'm gonna put one of these on my pillow today it's really nice okay yes yeah, so like this video if you like Amazon Prime because um, by the way, this is not sponsored by Amazon Prime. This is sponsored by Anna's Love for getting things in the mail. <laughs> so first of all, I have to report that these pillowcases are amazing. And they're so pretty. Like, it goes so well with um, the color scheme I have going on, which I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm so insanely exhausted, and I have, like, this pounding headache I don't even know what I all I did today to wear myself out sometimes it's just an accumulation like you don't realize um, and then suddenly a few days later you're like you know um, well I haven't been feeling well I haven't been feeling well in how many years it's been several years folks you know, you go to the doctor and it's like, how long has this been going on? Um, try years. <laughs> but I, um, I did some makeup, took some pictures for my, my makeup business, um, which is a unique. I'm a unique presenter. I don't think I've ever said that yet. Um, which I, I absolutely love and so I did that so that was a little bit of work and then I I don't know what else I did I haven't really relaxed at all today I don't know what I've been doing you guys it's almost seven o'clock and I have no idea what I've been doing it's just kind of like I've been in bed and so I really 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 need to just 
crash. Like my body is just crashing. It's really bad headache is coming on. And when I get so fatigued, it's like, it's like on a whole other level. I get like pressure behind, like in my head, behind my eyes. And it's hard to keep my eyelids open. Obviously anyone that's really tired, that's hard to do. And I, like, I, it's hard for me to sit up. Like, everything, it just takes so much out of me. And my neck starts hurting and my throat starts hurting. And, like, everything just starts hurting. I was in a lot of pain last night. And um, this morning it's been a little better. But I slept a little better last night than I had the past few nights. But anyway... So the accumulation of when, well, the accumulation of my life, but Wednesday going and driving all the way down to the Cleveland Clinic and doing that all in one day, that's kind of that, it's, that's seven hours of just driving and we're blessed that it's very close because we live in Michigan, um, but and then Thursday and all that pain, and then yesterday was a lot better, and um, next week I've got appointments to go to. And If you deal with a chronic illness, just really try to, if you're not already, just try to be really self-aware. It takes practice, and I'm, I'm really good at it, I have to say, because of a few reasons that I've discovered. Um, I was a ballet dancer for 11 years, so you have to be really aware of your body physically. Um, and then I was a flutist for, I, I don't know, 10, 11 years. Be, a lot, I, think, I was also 11 years, I think, before I had to put it on pause so all that to say I've I've kind of had this blessing in my life to already have been pretty self-aware of my body but I've still I still had to train myself and you really have to think like okay what is this specific how am I specifically feeling in my head or in my legs and Especially if you had, don't have a lot of concrete diagnoses yet. Um, and even if you do, it's just, it's insanely helpful for your doctors and for yourself to evaluate and to know um, that when you do the X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z is going to happen to your body and you'll have to like recover from that. So is X, Y, and Z worth it? And then it's, that's in a whole other thing, but I guess just being aware of your body and really making sure you take care of it as best as possible is just my advice always. Although it's hard because we get so tired and it's like, I'm sometimes like, I do not want to take my meds anymore. But, um, it's important, so... Anyway, I am going to go and I'm pretty sure I say every single time I'm going to go crash. Like, like literally when I mean crash, I mean like melt into my bed with my new pretty pillowcase. And I'm going to not get up for a while or get up, eat some dinner and then crash. And then it gets late at night, but I'm, like, too tired, you know, to get up and get ready for bed and, like, do my nebulizing and uh, flush my feeding tube and do all my stuff, my bedtime stuff. So I wait till it's late and then... Whatever! That's life! Is that life? I don't even know, folks. I don't even know. But that's my life at the moment. So... You just got a whole bunch of things thrown at you about Anna Roper, and that's kind of how I talk. I'm super random and rambly, so I'm going to say goodbye, and I will talk to you all super soon. Bye.